right, Geminis, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started and see what we have here for Geminis. Let's see. Remember, it's not a personal. It's a, I mean, it's not a personal, it's a general. So um, check your other placements if this doesn't resonate, okay? So let's see, what do we have for Geminis in this connection? Romance. Oh, glow up. Glow up wanted to pop out, so I just got it. Okay, let's see. Flirtation. Wow, Gemini. Who is this? Is this new? Hmm, let's see. I like it so far. <laughs> let's see <laughs> what. This could be a prediction. You never know. Let's see. Even though it's not a new love reading, but hey, sometimes we get case of the X for singles. So uh, let's see, what else, what is this person thinking towards Gemini's? Not finished? Oh, so it's not new. <laughs> Somebody's not finished with you, Chaser. Which isn't the the root of their issue here. Lust. So this person is craving you. They actually want to chase you. Um, so we have lust. I don't like these two together because they give me lust feelings. Anyways, if only you knew how much I crave you. Which is in the position of... You not knowing <laughs> that they really do crave you. Okay, we have Chaser. If only there was a way I could make you feel my love. Not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over until I say it's over. Okay. Let's see. Give me more of their thoughts before I clarify. Give me more of their thoughts towards Gemini's signs. let them go that spirit's message to you friendship who got that I think it was cancer that just got it so this person is not wasn't really serious about you we have friendship I'm more comfortable being friends than being lovers We'll see why that is there. But let's see. We have let them go, which is Spirit's message to you. They haven't been coming out. It's interesting. I'm also feeling because they're, they haven't been coming out. And when they do, I do feel that maybe it's their thoughts. They're trying to let you go. Let go of this feeling of wanting you. Let's see. Give me more of this romance. But you got good cards, which is weird. Um, let's get into it. What is this romance? Okay. So, it kind of seems like you took your energy back from them. Okay. You both had a very strong connection here. Very strong. And it kind of seemed like it could have turned toxic for some of you because they wouldn't commit. But I feel like you took your energy, you're holding back your energy, like you're actually focused on you. But um, you're still attached to them. It's like not finished. You're trying to detach, but you can't. For some reason i feel like that's you you're just not giving to the situation you stopped giving to this there was romance there there was love there because that's a water card let's see give me more of this glow up but since there was no commitment or anything you decided to take your your energy back like you stopped giving to it but you still it kind of seems like you just can't let go 
Give me more of this glow up. You've gone through a trans you're going through a transformation, I feel. Like you're not thinking the same as before. That's why you were able to stop giving to the situation because you you kind of said no. Ooh, you might have gone through a dark night of the soul. Like it took a couple of months to really get or maybe it's taking a while to actually let go of this because there is something that you're going where it's really transforming you. It's um, it's really difficult. Yeah, some people say that it's, it's different for everyone. But you've gone through some kind of, um, how do I say? Or you're going through some kind of growth, um, which growth can be so uncomfortable, like an ending of something where you just change, completely change within. Give me more of this flirtation. So maybe you're out and about now because you have gone through something here and you're working on yourself. You're having patience. You're having the courage. You know, you're getting the courage to go out there and flirt around. Hey, why not? Okay, maybe you're fine. You're going to you're gonna be talking to a Leo, <laughs> flirting with a Leo or a Cancer. There's so many major arcanas here. One, two, three, and four. So it's like this was meant to happen this way. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like you're wanting to move forward, but something just keeps you coming back. Like you're still like in the process of letting go because there is something here is like you were addicted to this romance, addicted to this person, this lust. Maybe it was like an addiction giving. Maybe you were the giver here, too, and you just stopped. Give me more of this not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over until I say it's over. I think I forgot to say that one. Not finished. Give me more of this not finished. So this person plans on coming back. Why? Because the Seven of Swords is someone that still looks back and, s and says, Well, it's still not finished. There's still going to be communication. yeah kind of seems like there was no closure even though we don't have the world here but it kind of seems like there's no closure so they think that this is not over give me more of this chaser but i feel like it's over for you you're just working on letting it go but you were so invested in this that it's so hard to let go i don't know if mm, i need more cards than than this but i feel like this this connection really pushed you to a place where you have to learn how to get your confidence back find yourself and change grow the, go through this growing period give me more of this chaser chaser with the ace of cups so this person This is at the root of their issue. So it's kind of like, I want to be single, but I want to be with them. I want to offer this, this new beginning in love. But they won't chase. They won't, they won't tell you. Because it's, it's like one of their problems. Is like, if only there was a way I could make you feel my love. You know, without chasing kind of thing. Like, I don't want to chase. I still want my singlehood. I'm, you know, if only I can just be, remain single and still start all over with you kind of thing. It's interesting. <laughs> Give me more of this lust. Yeah, what you don't see is that they do want to work on things. I feel like this person wants to come back without even talking about that ending but it kind of seems like oh wow okay so it kind of seems like you guys wanted a there was something that need, I feel like they do want to work on things or they did want to work on things but something just blew up like you both were working on things or we're gonna give it a chance and it blew up like it ended unexpectedly 
and it kind of seems like they um if that didn't happen then they are lusting for you they're craving for you and it's like an epiphany it was like and now that there is a wedge there because i always feel like this there's a boundary there they they feel like they can't really come towards you because of what happened between you two but they are having this this craving for you to be near them but there is just that whatever happened between you two is just what really stops them from working things out some of them just want to come without even talking about it without even having to you know talk things through from you know because we have the seven of swords like they don't even want to talk about it they just want to come in work on things but um you know through intimacy you know you know just having that sex kind of thing and forgetting all about it you know so let them go with two of wands wanted to come out so it kind of seems like they want to go out and explore just to let you go give me more of this friendship wow so they f they really have good memories with you they love how you both felt at home with each other so i don't know what's up with this and they hate that it ended like they really do treasure the bond that you both um built here and they hate that it that ended with the whole relationship or intimacy give me more of this let them go eight of cups i don't know if it kind of seems like you let them go and they feel it like they're feeling your absence like they're actually emotionally drained like they're trying to walk away from this see they're trying to get over this but i don't know if they can they feel like it's not finished they're trying here they're trying to walk away but they can't okay king of swords maybe this person didn't feel worthy of you or isn't feeling worthy of you i feel like it's could be you too you were probably like you know what i'm done i'm turning my back on this or maybe you know somebody here is turned cold i'm getting somebody turned cold um but it kind of seems like somebody here is thinking a lot more logically it also it also represents a lawyer there could have been a lawyer involved or maybe somebody is just turning their back that's what's being highlighted too yeah so let's see give me one more for gemini's one more message for gemini's and this person love is fire you could be dealing with a fire sign You've set their heart on fire in the soul ever burning and inquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Yeah, that's why you both can't let go. They can't let go and you're having a hard time. Even though you are trying your very best to let them go. I can see it here. But they can't let go. They think that it's not over. It's not over for them. They're trying as well but i don't think they're succeeding at all because this is at the top of their this is what's crowning them so it's they're still in this energy where they they still want you kind of seem like you almost meet or you're meeting someone new though i kind of feel like you're moving on even though you can't let go right now i feel like you're still going through that glow up phase mm -hmm. so you set their love on um, fire their soul on fire because they can't let go either okay it's like a very strong soul com soul connection this could also be like a very very harsh soul contract that you both needed to learn from you know so we do have cancer leo capricorn taurus scorpio leo wall of fire scorpio virgo earth scorpio again <laughs> um fire air 
Aquarius. Okay, so that is what I have. Let's go on to the um, singles reading. Strictly singles, Geminis. What do we have for Geminis? Strictly singles for Geminis. What do we have for Geminis? Nervous. Ooh, SCX. Okay. I worry about how our date will turn out. I hope you like me. Oh. Somebody here is nervous. Because I feel like this is somebody actually thinking about you. SCX. I don't want to get flagged, so I hope we're all adults here. <laughs> I physically crave you. I fantasize about all the sexual things I want to do to you. So there is someone here that you kind of make nervous. They have, or there's someone coming in that you're going to be making them nervous. They hope that you like them, but they do. They're going to be craving you, fantasizing about you. You're going to make a big impression on this person. For some of you, you already know this person. <laughs> you make them nervous and they fantasize about you let's see give me more of this for gemini singles love codependency we had that deception wanted to come out and deception came out again okay is this another case of the x geez <laughs> let's see Let's see. What is this codependent and deception? Actually, this nervousness. There is some kind of codependency, unhealthy attachment. Um, let's see. What is this? Nervous. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. You might be making someone nervous here. But Gemini, if you're one of those that are going through this glow up, like we saw in the first reading at the beginning of this video um you make them nervous yep god this person wants to go out maybe you go out with friends you they can see that you enjoy the moment come on, you're a gemini let's see what is this scx okay so this is your energy let's see what is this nine of swords i feel like it's them oh you have two okay so i feel like you this this one came out in the first read too so i feel like it's their energy they're the ones that You make them nervous. They're single. This person is single. This person likes to go out as well. They like to, you know, do things, um, fun things, live in the moment. I feel like you make them nervous because you're someone different. You're very confident. They fantasize about you because they love your independence. They love your confidence. Um yeah that's what i'm getting here give me more of this codependency ten of wands too many give me more of this ten of wands codependent with the magician so something here something here that you're needing to drop i don't feel like it's you though somebody here could be codependent on you um codependent could also be you know an unhealthy um unhealthy connection to you maybe they're they're gonna turn codependent on you because you're single gemini this is you uh the magician so it's like they're going to get attached to you. I feel like they're going to get attached to you through intimacy. You're going to make them nervous. You're going to want them. 
they're you're gonna make them you know kind of addicted to you give me more of this deception but i don't like this energy because this deception with the magician is not good either it's like nine of cups the high priestess So, it kind of seems like you're lying to yourself. Gemini, I feel like you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying to themselves. Like you're still wishing, hoping, and you're not being truthful. It's like deceiving yourself. Okay? So be careful. Be careful. Because through intimacy, you could also, you know... Well, I don't feel like it could be you, but it could be them. They could be get attached to you. And then um, you might be wishing, hoping. feel like you're ending something here with someone else but you're still single it kind of seems like there is someone that you're hoping for but this is not the person because i do feel like you're gonna meet someone single here that is ready to make things happen with you that could be even getting attached to you but it's like you're deceiving yourself here because you could be giving this a chance, but it kind of seems like you're wishing, you're hoping for somebody else, but you're not revealing that. You're not revealing that you are waiting for someone else, that you are wanting someone else, that you're still attached to someone else. Mm hmm. And I do sense a little bit of um, moon magic too for some of you. Yeah. And I am getting, you know, you feel confident. There is a glow up here. But somebody wants to get to know you. And I don't feel like you are going to really pay attention to them. Mm -hmm. Like you're just going to use them <laughs> for SEX. Sorry. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, this is it's a little confusing, a little too complicated, but it kind of seems like you're kind of deceiving them and deceiving yourself because you really do want somebody else here. It feels like it's someone completely different here. It's way different than this person over here that you make nervous. Um, you, you make them nervous and they want something, you know, they fantasize about you. They want to get to know you because they see you as someone that they can have potential, you know, they can, you know, some, the one, but it's like, there is some kind of, um, attachment here to something else that you're needing to let go because it's kind of an overburden or someone here is attached to you and, and it's someone that you, that has deceived you in the past as well. But I feel like this is different than this one. Okay, sorry if I confused anybody. Um, Page of Wands, see? This could be a message that maybe you're waiting for, you're wishing for. There's a lot of fire here that you are probably wanting. But there is someone here that is single <laughs> and ready. Confident as well. Wanting to, you know, get together. You make them nervous. But there's someone here, immature. That is the problem, the challenge here. Okay, it, it's really weird, but it is two completely different, complete different energies that I'm feeling here. Okay, so maybe you're two minds of something. You know, you're a Gemini, so you you might be, you know, two minds of something here. And anyways, this is kind of like a, a continuance from the first reading. Anyways, we have Sag, Taurus, Pisces, um, Gemini, Virgo, Fire, Cancer, Taurus... Um, Libra could be another Gemini earth signs Virgo okay that is what I have thank you so much and take care of you mm, bye